Yeah, all right, fuckers and fuckettes. Now, usually the first thing you hear when you say that you're anti-Obama is some bullshit about your racist. Well, I'm going to use my unique position in this world to uh, just outright quash that at the beginning. You see, I happen to be Jewish. I was born in Alabama. I grew up in the late 60s, early 70s, and I didn't fit neither side of the racial coin. My family came over from Russia. They legally immigrated, um, which back then was a lot easier to do. Um, so you can't say I fit either side of the racial coin. I get along with the white boys. I get along with the black boys. It don't fucking matter to me. And when I was a kid, they was both beating my ass. That's how I got tough. I got tired of getting my ass whooped, so I started winning a couple. And yeah, granted, I lost a lot more than I won, but you know what? I always give them a run for their money, and uh, after a while, they just left me the fuck alone. But uh, you can't put me on either side of the racial coin. You can't put me on the Mexican side of the racial coin either, because I've got Mexican buddies that have been here all their lives. Uh, you know, I've got Mexican buddies that have only been here a few years, but they came here legally. Well, now I'm going to declare that I am definitely anti-Obama um, for the simple reason that uh, he seems to be anti-American. You see, I believe in the Constitution, I believe in the Bill of Rights, and I believe in the framework of government that they set forth. And Mr. Obama has gone beyond that framework way too many times. I mean, his first official act in office was, you know, I mean, prior to the 2008 elections, this man was never vetted as a candidate. And I don't give a shit if he was born in the United States. There's a difference between natural born citizen and native born citizen. I am a native born citizen. Because at the time of my birth, my parent, one of my parents, was still not a U.S. citizen. The other one was. Um, I was born here. That makes me native born, not natural born. If both of my parents had been citizens at the time of my birth, I would be natural born. I am not. I'm native born. Um, means I can't run for the office of president. And Mr. Obama's birth certificate shows that his father was not a citizen at the time of his birth. And to be honest, I really, I've seen that birth certificate. I've seen all three of the birth certificates that the White House has released debunked so many times as frauds and forgeries that, yeah, I'm about half-ass inclined to believe that they are frauds and forgeries. Which, uh, the clincher for me to make me believe get over that edge from that halfway believe it to just a little bit more than halfway believe it. His first act in office was to issue an executive order sealing his records. Period, plain and simple. Um, and that's his college records, his birth records. The American people could not see that shit, cannot see that shit. Now maybe when he gets out somebody will rescind that executive order um, which would be a damn good thing. Because I'd really like to know. I truly would. I mean, you know, you had, uh, what was it, the uh, Hawaiian governor tried to find it and said that he found a handwritten record but no actual original long form birth certificate. And then all of a sudden we've got one on the White House's site, you know, a couple years later. Um, and now, by executive order, um, he circumvented Congress, circumvented the framework of the Constitution, and basically said that the young illegal immigrants will be allowed to stay. They won't be deported. Well, now to me, that's an anti-American act. I mean, if you take the definition of treason, I mean, there's couple of different ways that you can define treason, and I've got notes here in front of me, so I don't get them wrong. 
but generally treason is kind of described as a betrayal of country, a violation of the allegiance owed by somebody to his or own country, or by aiding the enemy. Um, high treason is treason perpetrated by somebody against his or own country, his or her own country. Um, there's another definition of treason, which is any attempt to overthrow the government, impair the well-being of a state to which one owes allegiance, the crime of giving aid or comfort to the enemies of one's government. Um, so no matter how you look at Mr. Obama, he's committed some pretty treasonous acts, because the other day I was watching right here on YouTube, um, couple of videos and several people are pissed off about it, thank God. At least we've still got some real Americans. Where Obama was in an interview over his recent order to not deport the, you know, younger illegals. And I mean, you know, the man obviously doesn't understand. Illegal means criminal. You know, illegal. They're not supposed to be here. Kick their ass out, throw them in jail, do whatever. Um, as a matter of fact, if you threw a few of them in jail, you know, with five or ten years penalty and deport them afterwards, you know, the rest are going to go running like motherfucker back across that border because nobody likes no damn jail. So that's one point where he could be nailed on treason because where he's saying that those young people will grow and, uh, you know, do great things for this country, well... What about the young Americans growing up right now that those illegals are going to steal their jobs? They're going to take the opportunities of Americans that were born here, of legal immigrants who came here legally. Um, Mr. Obama doesn't want to answer that question for anyone. Goddamn bird. By the way, that's an American robin, y'all. further back, um, when uh, Bin Laden was nailed, well, let's go further back than that, because in 2008, Obama, these are his own words, and again, I have notes here, um, he, in 2008, said Navy, C Na Navy SEAL Team 6 is Cheney's private assassination team. Okay, also in 2008, he said Bin Laden is innocent until proven guilty and must be captured alive and given a fair trial. Now, in 2011, he said, I put together SEAL Team 6 to take out Bin Laden. Okay, he also let the world know that it was SEAL Team 6 that did take out Bin Laden um, in another instance. Well, in doing so, he jeopardized the lives of American soldiers. And he happens to be the commander-in-chief of the United States military. Now, if a buck private or even a colonel had done that, they would have been charged with treason because they jeopardized the lives of those, ser those soldiers willfully and or intentionally. Um, and those soldiers, by the way, did get killed as a result of him revealing who took out Bin Laden. Now, other ways that he circumvented Congress, I mean, granted he got Congress to uh, approve the health care bill. Well, that health care bill is what stops small businesses. You see, the Democratic mind sees a small business as being somebody with 50 employees or more. Uh, you got small shops like me. I could afford to hire somebody at 30, 30 to 35,000 a year right now if it wasn't for the health care bill. Because prior to that health care bill, it would have costed me about 41,000 by the time I paid workman's comp, social security, you know, all the usual shit. But with this health care bill in place and all the little loopholes that they get 
on that for extra taxes. If I want to do the right thing and obey the law, it's closer to 47000 in high change, and you might as well say 48000 So I can't afford to hire somebody to help me out in the shop at that price. So he screwed a lot of small, truly small businesses, you know, the guys that can afford one or two employees. Um, and, you know, I mean, my line of work, I'm not really working, I'm retired, I've, you know, got my little motorcycle shop, y'all all know that, and you know that mostly I'm just fucking around with my own collection of bikes. Um, but I do take the occasional customer, and, you know, if somebody comes in and they want an oil change, fuck it, buy me a soda, smoke a fat one with me, I don't give a damn, I, you know. Come in for you know a major engine rebuild. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm not even gonna charge them by the hour. I might charge them four or five hundred bucks to do it, as long as they buy their own parts. Um, but it's a hobby for me. But at the same time, it's a hobby that has to break even. Um, and if I hire somebody, well, that's gonna be coming out of my pocket that extra cost of this health care bill, and I'm not willing to do that. Well, by the fact that he pushed that health care bill so far and signed off on it, um, Pelosi and Reed too, um, and a couple others, you know, Dimwit Debbie, that in itself, you know, under the Constitution, they can't force anybody to buy anything. That was unprecedented. And it's very doubtful that the Supreme Court will shoot it down. Um, I'm hoping like hell that they do. Um, maybe they have by now, but I doubt it. Um, I haven't heard anything about it, and I haven't really been on the internet much to look. And, but, um, I mean, right now, you know, this side of my face is a little bit swallowed up from cancer. It's getting that bad, but, uh, anyway, um, probably fixing to lose another couple of teeth too. And yeah, it's probably affecting my brain because I don't seem to be as crazy as I used to be. Maybe I'm getting crazier and just don't know. Hell. <laughs> but uh, by executive order, he's gotten away with a lot of stuff and granted you know, you've got Eric Holder in there, did that fast and furious with all those guns going across the border. Well, by the fact that Obama tolerated that and has taken no action to make sure that somebody went to jail for it, um, and in fact has pretty much undermined Congress and, you know, there's investigations going on into it, but nobody's going to jail, compliments of Mr. Obama. Um, but they put weapons in the hands of a foreign entity, foreign nationals, the drug cartels basically. Um, well, actually, actually not basically. Well, that's an uh, act against the United States because, I'm sorry, there is a declared war on drugs. He's in charge of the military. That declared war on drugs includes those drug cartels, yet they put weapons in their hands. So, say we're in Afghanistan, and you or me or anyone picks up a weapon we just don't want, we hand it off to uh, one of the camel jockeys we're fighting against, that's treason. Well, Mr. Holder and all those people in the Department of Justice and Obama, by proxy, by the fact that he has allowed this to happen without prosecuting anyone, um, guess what? That's a treasonous act. So being anti-Obama doesn't mean you're racist. That's the American thing to do. If you believe in the Constitution and the Bill of Rights, any infringement upon those two documents um, is anti-American as far as I'm concerned, and Mr. Obama basically wipes his ass with both. Um, you know, all these roadblocks that we're experiencing here in Florida, you know, I'm sorry, you know, I, I, I 
didn't realize I was born in a communist country, but I grew up believing that kind of thing, roadblocks on major highways, to be something that happens in communist countries, not something that happens in America. Um, you know, we've got, we can blame the Republicans for the TSA, but we can thank the Democrats for expanding the TSA so large and so huge that, uh, I mean, hell, they're feeling up six-year-olds and stuff. They've got bomb sweepers on I-20 out in Texas. They've shut down the uh, pull truck, every truck through the scales out here on I-10 and 75 with them same bomb sweeping trucks. There's videos right there on YouTube. You know, TSA, Homeland Insecurity, sitting there making the trucks pass under this bomb sweeper truck. Uh, I'm sorry, this is America. You know, you can take actions against non-Americans, but when you take an action against an American citizen, well, you're anti-American. And when they originally set out that TSA, they said that it would never be used against Americans. Same with Homeland Insecurity. Yet it's being used against Americans every day. Now, I'm not the one to go out and go after Mr. Obama. Um, I mean, you know, granted, if they ever do try him for treason and find his ass guilty, I will try my damnedest to get on the list. I'll even tell him I'll buy my own fucking ammo just to be on that firing squad. But I doubt that that's ever going to happen. And, you know, I mean, if I could legally, yeah, I, I, I'd do my damnedest to get on that firing squad. Um, but... You know, so would several million other Americans. But in the meantime, I ain't going to go after his ass. I'm just going to hope he gets voted out next time. And, uh, you know, the Democrats, when Romney kept silent on uh, that lady hollering about, uh, you know, Obama should be charged with treason, Democrats got all over Romney. Well... Democrats have been protecting their golden boy all, all along. I mean, they're the ones who never vetted him thoroughly to begin with. Um, and even though their Supreme Court rulings, that, you know, dating back into the 1800s, saying that native born and natural born are two different things, and by the fact that uh, Mr. Obama's, it, you know, the Constitution says you have to be a natural born citizen to take the office of president. Um, his father was not. So, and there's precedence in the Supreme Court going back to the 1800s. And, you know, all these state court, all these uh, state cases keep getting shot down. Um, for the simple reason that, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I really honestly do not know why. But uh, they're basically challenging the natural born aspect now um, and unfortunately getting shot down. Um, and you've got other aspects. certificate issue, like I said, I'm a little bit over halfway sure that he just don't have one. Um, and uh, he's appointed czars, I mean, more than any other president. They've all had one or two czars. Um, usually approved by at least Congress or the Senate, you know, there was a need. Um, and he said uh, things like the Solyndra debacle. You know, half a billion dollars of the American taxpayers' money gone. Um, he said things like, uh, you know, the Wall Street bailouts that, you know, they're talking about more bailouts again. Uh, 
you know, to give you an idea of how much Obama cares about, actually cares about the little people, there was in, oh shit, oh, all right, there's his words. Um, the guy had uh, asked him about the extremely high price of gas, and Obama laughed, literally and said, I know some of these big guys, they're still driving their big SUVs. You know they got their big monster trucks and everything. You're one of them, points to, pointed to somebody in the audience. Um, and he continued, well now here's my point. You know if you're complaining about the price of gas and you're only getting eight miles a gallon, um, and he was laughing when he did this, you might have a big family, but it's probably not that big. So how many you have? Ten kids, you say? Ten kids? You know, I mean, just mock the dude. And he said, like I said, if you're getting eight miles a gallon, you might want to think about a trade-in. Well, Mr. Obama, I'll tell you what. Um, by the way, that was in April. Um, tell you what there, Mr. Obama. I know kids that are working at McDonald's, they're working at hospitals, and they're driving motorcycles to get 60 and 70 miles to the gallon. And come the end of the week after they've got their rent paid and they've got a little bit of food in their fridge, because minimum wage don't go very far in these days, um, they have to think twice before they take their bike down to the beach. They have to think twice before they take their bike very much further than straight to their girlfriend's house. They have to think twice before they take their bike 50, 75 miles to see their parents because that's really 100 or 150 if you count it round trip. That's two gallons of gas, that's $10. You know, some kid pulling in $200 or less a week because um, you know McDonald's, they ain't gonna really hire them full time. They'll let them work 32 hours so that they can keep them part time forever. The only ones working full time there are managers. And that's just one example. I mean, there's grocery stores all over the United States that do that same thing. Sweet Bay um, has very few full time employees. They're all 30, 32 hours, enough to keep them to where they're classed as part time. You know, that way they don't have to carry that insurance, they don't have to carry nothing. You know, and granted, that's not illegal to do that. You know, you're talking tens of millions of Americans that have to live on those low wages and have to work two jobs. Um, you got one kid that works up here at Sweet Bay. Um, I won't say which one, but um, and he's got a girlfriend that's got a job too. But between the two of them, by the time they pay their hospital bills for that kid that they just had. And, you know, I mean, they're actually honestly making their payments like they're supposed to. You know, they're not typical Democratic Party members going, oh, fuck, I'm a liberal. We shouldn't have to pay for anything. We should get it all free from the government. Well, they shouldn't get it all free from the government. And they're good American citizens that pay their fucking bills. Um, uh, those kids, the, you know, I don't know her too good. I know him pretty good. And uh, by the time they buy food and pay their rent and pay their electric, and they ain't even got no fucking cable. Um, he's got one of them $50 a month cell phones. I know this because I bought him a couple of cell phone cards just so I could keep in touch with him. Because I give him some work from time to time. Stuff that, you know, heavy stuff that I don't want to do. Um, yet he... You know, how many times has he had to bum gas money to go down to Fort Myers and see his parents? And he lives right here in Sarasota, you know, so you're only talking 80 miles one way, 160, probably by the time you run around in Fort Myers, maybe 200 miles for that whole trip. So you're talking, what, 20 bucks worth of gas? Well, you know, a young couple like that, that's a lot of money. You know, it ain't shit to you or me, and it ain't shit to the average person. Um, but uh, you 
you know how that is. Um, you know, you had uh, the deal out in Arizona. All those Mexicans coming across the border illegally, you had a whole sheriff out there that said, all right, look, we ain't going to put up with this. We're going to, if the feds won't enforce the immigration laws, we're at least going to check them, over, check them for IDs and turn them over to the INS to do what we got to do. Um, which legally they were, in, you know, the sheriff is actually the highest power in any given county. But uh, Obama decided that that was wrong and literally uh, his team attacked that sheriff and has made his life pretty miserable. Um, you know, Obama declared war in Libya without Congress's approval. Um, Article 1, Section 8 of the Constitution, the Congress shall have power to declare war, grant letters of mark and reprisal, and make rules concerning captures on land and water to raise and support armies, but no appropriation of money to that use shall be for a longer term than two years, to provide and maintain a navy, to make rules for the government and regulation of the land and naval forces, to provide for calling forth the militia to execute the laws of the Union, suppress insurrections, and repel invasions, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Mr. Obama's response to that uh, more than once has been that the United Nations now trumps the U the, or replaces the U.S. Constitution, depending on which speech you're listening to. Um, I'm sorry. The U.N. is a foreign thing. Even though we pay the biggest part of the bill for the U.N., right, we pay more for the U.N. than all other countries combined. But it does not trump the Constitution at all. Um, so there was an unconstitutional act by Mr. Obama. Now that one is borderline whether or not he could be tried for treason because he did put American troops in jeopardy by sending them over there. Um, but at the same time, yeah, Libya's done enough to us to where it could be considered a defensive action, but it's not because he literally declared war. Um, and his own writing was, U.S. forces are playing a constrained and supporting role in a multinational coalition whose operations are both legitimized and limited to the terms of the United Nations Security Council resolution that authorizes the use of force solely to protect civilians and civilian populated areas under attack or threat of attack and to enforce a no-fly zone and an arms embargo. Um, gee, I'm sorry, you pretty much wiped his ass with the Constitution right there. So, these are just a few examples, um, and there's plenty more. I mean, you can uh, Google around for impeach Obama, Obama, Obama impeachment. Google seems to be about the uh, only search engine that if you click over on the left-hand side and narrow it down to news, you'll see that there really are cases trying to impeach him. If you Google over and you go Obama eligibility, Boom, there's a whole lot more um, cases that have gone nowhere, um, even though technically he really isn't eligible just because of his father's place of birth and lack of U.S. citizenship at the time of his birth. Um, and I mean, we could get into, he was listed as a foreign student at one of these colleges. I don't remember which one, but I've seen several of the videos and I've read several of the articles where they found that he was listed as a foreign student and didn't receive foreign aid. I've not pursued that one because I am at the point where I'm really not too interested in the boy, but um, at any point, uh, you know, Romney might not be the best alternative. 
think of anything, Herman Cain was probably the most American candidate running in this round of Republicans. Um, and then you got Ron Paul, but Ron Paul doesn't stand a snowball's chance in hell, and we all know it. I wish he did, because that man believes in the Constitution. Um, and he'll be, you know, that one there will be the first one to tell you, Ron Paul, he'll be the first one to tell you that 0% uh, is the accurate tax rate, because the taxes laid out in our founding documents are, they, the federal government can tax alcohol, tobacco, firearms, revenues gathered from criminal activity, um, gambling, um, and federal employees. That's it. Um, so Ron Paul, when he said 0% tax, he was right. Now Mr. Obama's got tax, 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 tax on his mind. Um, and in fact, in Oregon right now, they're trying out this new thing where they're going to tax your vehicle on how many miles it goes down the road instead of the gas tax that we're already paying. You know, because apparently some people are modifying their vehicles to where they get better mileage than factory. <laughs> Quite a few of us. Um, I don't know about where y'all are at, but I know down here, um, 40 miles to the gallon gold wings are now getting 60 miles to the gallon, 65, because people are tweaking them. Um, this, you know, <laughs> whether it was Honda's fault or whatever, who cares, but they can be tweaked up to decent, respectable amounts of fuel mileage. And a lot of people are doing it. Same with cars. Um, I'm seeing little Volkswagen Rabbit diesels, 83 Volkswagen Rabbit diesel is the most popular car in this area to lay your hands on and modify that engine because you can get 100 miles to the gallon around town out of that little tiny diesel. Um, and those of you who know me from my MySpace, you know I've taken Plymouth Prowlers up, dropped in come apart 4BT 3.3s, and made 80 miles to the gallon little hot rods out of them. Um, and yeah, it took some turbo work and it probably had eight or nine thousand dollars in that engine, but uh, hey, the shit worked. Um, but the whole point of this is being anti-Obama is not, does not mean you're a racist. It means you're American. Because Obama is anti-American. He is anti-Constitution, he is anti-Bill of Rights. Um, he basically wants to set up a dictatorship. I mean, why do you think all these Democrats are hopping on the bandwagon? You know, you got to show your license to go buy gunpowder to reload your own ammo now? That ain't a Florida thing, that's a federal thing. Because um, it happened to me in Georgia, too. They wanted to see my license, buy some fucking powder to reload my own rounds. Hell, I can't afford $5 a round. I can't afford $2 a round. I have to reload my own. Um, and yeah, I make my own slugs too, and I have the molds for, you know. And, yeah, you know, what do I shoot? I go out in these fucking islands in the intercoastal, privately owned. I have permission. I go out here to the firing ranges. I shoot cans, I shoot bottles, I shoot paper targets. Um, because he is the President of the United States, when all the cops are down at the firing range using Obama posters and shooting at them, I do not partake in that. I'll sit there and watch and for a while and usually end up loading up my guns and just taking off going home because he is still the President of the United States. and. Unfortunately, I'm a little bit too patriotic to shoot at his ass. Um, but if they ever try him for treason, I'm going to try and get my name on that list to be on that firing squad. But, you know, we all know that that shit ain't going to happen, so that's just pipe dream. Being anti-Obama is not being racist. Being anti-Obama is being American. You know, that you... Uh, Look in your history books, in your actual history books from, yeah, prior to 
prior to the Clinton administration, um, the last guy that ever ran for on the socialist platform, trying to get in as a socialist president of the United States, which thankfully the Communist Party never got in. Um, he said that uh, he didn't have to run anymore because the Democrats have already adopted their platform. Well, I have three of those old history books that actually have that statement in them. Yet if you look on, uh, I think it's factcheck.org, which is owned by Annandale and controlled pretty much by Obama, um, it says that that never happened. Well, it says a lot of things never happened. Um, it wasn't until recently that they took down the uh, first reference saying that they had had the first birth certificate in their hands. Um, so y'all know where all that's at. Basically, he's supposed to be in charge of the military, um, and he's supposed to be one of the three branches of government, but he's trying to turn it into a dictatorship. Um, and he's got a lot of help from all the Senate Democrats. He's got a lot of help on the Hill. Um, you know, and you've got entire congressmen, whole congressmen, even, on, even people from his own party are jumping against him and going, uh, you know, uh, I really don't want your help with my campaign. You're probably going to fuck me up. And they're saying a lot more than that. You've got congressmen that really would want to impeach him. They've publicly said so. You can Google it around if you want. Um, takes you a little bit of digging. Um, but uh, stuff's all out there. Being anti-Obama ain't being racist. Being anti-Obama is being American. Because when he wipes his ass with that Constitution and with the Bill of Rights, um, yeah, he's anti-American. Because those documents are what define America and define Americans. If you're against those documents, you're against America. Simple as that. So next time y'all want to, you know, I, I sit here in restaurants and different places and I hear, you know, you, the little political discussions get started and first thing these Obama supporters say when you say something against that boy is, oh, you're racist. Uh-uh. Fuck you. I'm American. I'll let y'all fuckers you fuck.